fuck. What? I just fucking blasted the microphone into my eye. <laughs> um. Hey. Did you start recording? Yeah, I did. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Is, is your eye all right? Uh, it's all right. I'm fine. I'll okay. live. I'm a big boy. Anyway, I'm fucking Alfred and shit. I'm Sarah. Yeah, she's my wife. Yeah. I open Jelly's safe. The outside is a figure out of myth, neither good nor evil. He's boring that way. Hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar on the river. Your new allies have plans to share with you. Can you not read that? Oh, no. I was actually looking at the, the, the bar's name. I think it says Hound Pits. Yeah, the Hound Pits pub. Oh, wonderful. I don't need new glasses yet. Meet with the loyalist inner circle to learn with what they've got in mind. Hey, Sammy. Wow, you, you cut the episode really well. well. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. There's a lot of nose to be under the nose, so... And again... Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in Lord Regent being drawn. like... And now that you've escaped, the Lord See, Regent's the, going the evil to be they are. the city apart. The more nose they have. The evil is stored in the nose. <laughs> Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Lordists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. In case you forgot her name, the name of your daughter, I mean, not your daughter. I expect they're hard at work in there. Perhaps Most literally. Truly, they'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Dunwall, Branwalls, Whis Whiskey. Oh fuck, it's Piranha! <laughs> Ruining my fucking swim time. Yeah, this is I'm the only sure bath you'll get all month. To meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. Welcome to the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this is Cecilia. Also known we as have Mustache. We've been informed of your arrival, and we'll do our best to stay out of your way while you conduct. I can trust business. these two. Yes. Small noses, Lydia's you know? servant here as well. And red hair. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress. Yeah, I'm in love if already. I may, I am a personal the assistant to Lord Pendleton. What's up, We can uh -oh. continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire. To my you. right is Captain Forehead. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Shepard Pendleton. Nyam, I represent nyam, the nobility Pendleton. in our little group. Fucking asshole. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. I'm this feeling a like a weird sense of guilt call. about uh, going to come insulting these men's appearances. A of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Why Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. It just at risk of execution, nice. we're committed to finding young Lady Emily. And Look at how this guy proud. cut his fucking hair. <laughs> Are that you going to tell me that he doesn't we deserve do me kicking him in the balls once a day, <laughs> every day, for the next your rest of his life? And in helping us, Look at this fucking asshole. Going to help you destroy the men He's got a widow's peak use. that goes past Sorry. his fucking ears. You must be exhausted. <laughs> we can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. Ooh, I don't like the way he looked at me, Hugh. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. You did it. <laughs> I beat Dishonored. So, I, I was so that was the bad end? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we got nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> Just me and my rats in the sewer. I know all the names. So it's starting at last, Ad. We can continue this later, Lord Pen. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a Ah, oh, weird. I have a hot pain in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like through time, someone killed me. Just chill, it was an accident. Not an accident. 
I was trying to beat the game early. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. Wait, how much do you know about this game? I've beaten this Will game you, five times. I, will oh. I know nothing. So. Yeah. Master assassin. Yes, there is the No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil is unstable. So, and it explodes, um, there's a terrible mess. Yeah, they're using whale oil, whale, whale goo to fuel machines like you would gasoline. Hell yeah. Uh, an excerpt from a book detailing Sokolov's machines. Sokolov technology in the new age. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks to process whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, they can be plugged into place with ease. The process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman in the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security stations, as well as the powered carriages used for transport by those few wealthy enough to afford them. Only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred, resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks explodes. Your uh, vocal cords get tired at any point. I can possibly read those. Okay. And I don't know how you uh, make all these recordings. It's very impressive. I'm, uh, I'm also not too excited to learn about all my vocal tics I have <laughs> when listening to the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> From a newspaper articles of Prominent Philosopher by Piero Joplin. It's no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy. A dame did not choose if you know the truth. The public has spoken its, uh, spoken its usual message of idiocy, spinning the coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal, if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting the remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because the strain worked with an officially was not seen in the history of the empire. Plague, the magnet's way to the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it's nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. While it's true Pierre's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, mine has its own properties not fully understood to relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in, it is in this way the formula wins out. Here, uh, here is where one should pay attention to the contest. Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients being a pure as empty ensure it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hatfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Piero! No, I will not sign off on the purchases. Bag of powdered crystal? Tibby an ore? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow Feather? If he needs feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the Academy, everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, what's left of it. We're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. Even though those things go and scavenge them, half the city's in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. So Piero makes a potion that is supposed to stop the plague. Oh, God. called soapy water. <laughs> the Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure and the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. Does that guy sound evil to you? Uh, you know. What happens if I throw this? How oh, did that happen? Okay. I, I, you know, we'll never know how that did happen. The piranhas snuck in. <laughs> it was the piranhas. They wanted your sweet, sweet whale. That one is empty. A new tank. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. 
here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your hands face. awfully close this to that. Mask Don't worry about it. Terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of the line. Screw this into your forehead. There. Better There's a now? lot of real estate here. I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. So yeah, instead Tell of just what I can make selling shit directly to him, stuff is immediately turned into magic. Okay. Okay, these are fun. Um... Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. So, any questions Sleep about well. the world or anything? So, are you a part of some secret organization who's trying to unveil the evils of the bourgeoisie? Yeah, they broke me out of prison to do that. Oh, nice. Yeah. I thought that was the rats. See, much like Bruce Wayne, rats rescued me from the sewers. <laughs> they lifted me up into my father's arms. Quick access wheel, yada, yada, yada. Now they will be lifted up in my fatherly arms. So you can see that whale oil is used for pretty much everything. Sokolov's elixir promotes robust health and fitness. Sure, to protect your family from the ravages of the Rat Plague. There is no guarantee... No, no guarantee of protection from the Rat Plague. Now drink this radium. Yeah, basically. Put it right into your gut. The Hound Pit, Scudder versus Blackie. Anyway, time for a normal night. Hmm. Alright. Something's not right, says the tooltip. Uh, you think? You know, I didn't even react because I just got done, you know, playing Bloodborne, and I'm used to just Your things looking not time, right in the distance. Not? Yeah. The Empress is dead. So this is the outsider. His daughter He's a Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces now you're in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. See, so yeah, Corvo's a warlock, in you. addition to being an assassin. Oh, shit. Come find me. So, yeah, in, uh... Yeah, so, you get, um, in addition to your mechanical shit... You also get access to magic, which is that blue bar. And Sokolov's uh, elixir will refill your health, but Pierre's remedy will instead refill your magic. This is fascinating. Yep. Get it? You cannot save her. Grandpa left on the caps box. See, so yeah, Pierre's spiritual remedy. So they call it a mana potion, but it's cooler if it's a fucking spiritual remedy, you assholes. So you can see, um, great fellows here. So you might actually recognize this guy, but mostly because these are two of a set of triplets. Is, is the third one a good person? The third one is the, the guy with the shitty haircut I was talking about dumping his books. Ah. Hitting him in the testicles. And they're stealing Emily. Who's Give him his daily kick in the balls. Yeah. But I can read her letter somehow. 
Carbo, I'm very sad. They say you're dead like mother, but I'm gonna put this note in a bottle and throw it in the river because I don't believe them. Living here is strange. I don't like it. Please come for me if you can. You were right to be in the river. Yeah. I will She's so nice. She's like, come for me if you can, please. I mean, I don't want to bother you. I will throw this note in the river. Hopefully a rat will take it to you. Don't worry. Uh, here's the Lord Regent. So yeah, the Void is a, is a collective consciousness, like, alternate dimension place where I can just see all my enemies. In the sense of being, you know, a gameplay thing. It's so that they can have a cool level. Uh, down here you can see one of my favorite enemies in this game. Not these guys. These guys. Ooh. These are called Tall Boys. I, I really like uh, any type of creature design where the creature is on very long limbs, like a Jim Henson-y, Dark Crystal type of thing. Yeah. Um, or the creatures from Morrowind. Yes, the Striders, yeah. Um, so these guys are just regular dudes on mechanical stilts with long bows. And the reason that it works is... Oh, those are people? Yeah, those are humans up there. Oh, I thought it was just like a, uh, a sentient like collection of mechanical parts. No, no, no. That's a normal guy on some stilts. That's how they fight rats. Because rats can't climb stilts. So it's up to me to bring down the tall boys. Do they have like a training program for this? Because like I would love to see like a bunch of brutes just like wobbling on these things. I assume so. In a courtyard. And over here you can see a whale. It's not an earth whale. XOXO. <laughs> Does that say OX? Uh, I have no idea. But the fact that whales show up in the void gives credence to the idea that um. Magic? Yeah, they're magical in some way. Which would be why whale oil explodes and does other stuff. Because, like, normal blubber, like, fat, pure fat is a little flammable. Like, it's, like, butter is kind of flammable. But, like, normally you can't fuel a rocket ship with butter. <laughs> but ah, the American way. Whale butter you can. Get fucked. Days that follow your trials. This slick great. motherfucker. Seek he's the super cool. Bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world. I think he's a little nervous to be around you. He's using that closed body language. I don't know. It shows him at ease. I've always subscribed to the theory that. By the way, he's explaining one of the game mechanics. Oh, it's it's very bloodborne. Give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hand. Not that With part of the room. Heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. Play the video game, asshole. See, so yeah, this is a real fucking heart in my hand. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. Recognize that? All of time is meaningless. Is that the Empress? Nine it is. Seconds. No centuries. So it'll glow when you point it at things. And if you point it at someone... Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. It's the anti-spiral... It's the spiral nemesis, rather? Um, yeah, it's the Empress's voice, and it can read people's minds? It might be the Empress's heart. This is something that, like, almost no one talks about, but it's, like, possibly one of the coolest things in this game. It seems like oddly relaxing to just have a little machine that replicates a heart in your hand. I mean, it almost doesn't replicate it. It's a machine made out of a heart. You got a point there. So yeah, the weird thing about the void is that, um, you know, it's a dream. It's a place you get to by dreaming, but you take all the shit out of it when you come, when you leave. Very Bloodborne, but predates Bloodborne by three years. So does time pause in the void? I assume so. Man, I would just kick that. Also, you can notice that this is the side of a building. They left that one window open for newcomers. Yo ho ho ho! <laughs> That's a good looking horse.
Oh, okay. Is this a baby carriage, by the way? I mean, Open I... Open it up. No, it, it looks like it's just holding, like, linens. I guess it'd be kind of weird to have a baby carriage that, like, closes over your child like a coffin. <laughs> well, in plague times, you know. You gotta keep her safe. Well, I mean, it's just monetarily smart. Yeah. You know, that baby's probably not gonna make it so crib and coffin in one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, this is a rune. It works like a Bloodborne rune. It's carved out of whale bone. Which, the fact that whale bones are fucking magic and shit. You know, you'd think that would indicate some magic. I'm gonna save it and get rat. So, um, How you once you use what I have given you talk. falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world. But know that I will be watching with great interest. All right, what's up? Wow, I oh 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 I know. Um, with the runes. Yeah. Once you slot them in, can't slot them out. As far as I know. Okay. Now does it work like a, you know, you have to do like a preliminary rune slot before you can get to the big ones, or you just save them up and get the big one? You can save them and get the big one. Nice, nice. So I'm gonna save all my runes and I'm gonna get a rat. What does a rat do? Summon rat. Good choice. Ah, I gotta take this fish with me, I guess. Um, so I think all these bone charms are here because I've got the DLC. Here we go. Raven! River Affinity, quick dodge. Good lungs. Delicate touch. Voyeur. There are good lungs is what that guy could have used in the sewer. Yeah. Carved from bones, great whales. The artifacts can be used to acquire or upgrade supernatural powers by those who bear the mark of the outsider. Regardless of must be reported. Oh god, there's so many of them. The Journal of Granny Rags. Hey, read this one. It's long, but... Do you feel ready? Uh, ex excerpts from the ramblings of a street denizen. Oh, goodness. You don't have my, to read it. My poor eyes. You go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Of course, I'll tell you, Derry. won't keep any secrets from you. All the dreary days of my life are like the windows of a house. In the kitchen, I can see out of the garden where the leaves and stalks are brown and bug-eaten. See a little lump of dirt where something was wrapped in a blanket and laid a rest along the rows of twitching vines. Front room looks out into the street where the neighbors are setting fire to their homes, barricading themselves inside. Warm and snug, dearie. Don't forget about the bedroom. It sees into a dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. First two are hitting him with sticks, and the girl is kicking at his dry old ribs. They're just playing. Oh, to have those bones and boil them in a pot? No one lives in my house anymore. No one you'd want to meet. When I lived there with my husband, we were fine, fine people. Vera More, everyone would say. Your house is a grand at boil manor. Better even, your dinners are lavish and your parties are the best, and your tits are real fat. <laughs> When the young Sokolov came to paint my portrait, I was nearly still in my prime. Radiant, he said, and he was barely just a man so young, painting all the best people across the land. Everyone wanted a portrait by his hand. I was the only one, dearie, wet with his paint, glistening on the canvas for a pretty coin. It wasn't all parties and paintings. My husband and I weren't always at home, no. We traveled together, he and I, to the ends of the Isles, beyond even, all the way to the red cliffs of Pendizia, to dig into the rock and crawl through the caves holding up candles and squinting at walls. Many precious things we came upon, but none so precious as the boy with the black eyes, all those marks and bones, carved so deep and polished so bright. Brought the bones, old bones home, hid them from my dear husband, learned to boil them and carve them myself. They made good presents. The little mute boy took them home. He loved them so. All the time he came back with new bones for me, holding them up so I could see it in his eyes, even though his tongue was still. Granny, his eyes would say to me, carve these bones for me, make me another present. And he went so, so far, all the way to Dunwall Tower, the royal headsman himself. My little mute boy and his shiny, shiny sword. Better bones are what I needed, you see. Better bones to carve and polish, scrape and gleam. My dear old husband was always tired. I made him soup and then he was sick. Better bones was all. For my mute little boy, carved in the name of the one with black eyes. 
And after my husband was gone, giving away his birthday gifts, I didn't want to live there anymore. So now I'm old and I don't have to give, uh, don't have any to give my presents to. It's sifting through the garbage for granny rags and feeding the little birdies that gather at my feet. No one wants to have tea, dearie. Especially those rude lads on Bottle Street. Slack John his boys, always meddling with an old woman trying to make her way. In the end, we'll always be with him. You and me in the dreary night with the stars above and below. And I'll always be the one with little black eyes, dearie. Are, uh, are you the mo mute boy? No. Oh. Does, uh, what's his name? Corvid? Corvo. Corvo. Does he ever speak? Uh, not in this game. Okay. Would've been kind of cool. <laughs> like, his backstory is just that he had a, an old granny friend. Mystical rat artifact, it's time. Enables one additional bone charm to be active. Oh, interesting. So, any questions about the lore or the story where we're at now? Should I clear space for Samuel then? No, not not like. so far. I'm he won't use it. Why? Quite happy to. He can't sleep in regular beds for anymore. Now. Or that's what he says. He says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh, but if you want to that pile tell of wood me about out there, I'd be happy to listen. Um, the Outsider's a cool like eldritch god. Well, and he gave me a bunch of warlock it. powers because he First wants off, to shake shit. Up. I know the That's assassination is dark business, but sometimes he, he did the same shit for Dowd, do bad the assassin who the killed the Empress. Right. Our purpose is clear: we want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Okay, so we got tonight. High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another... Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howl Pits. So, we're gonna go find the religious leader in the city, and we're gonna fuck him up. Any questions? Um, okay, so... We got a we got a few threads of story. Yes. We got the plague. Yeah. We got ah uh, these people killed the queen and now we're undercover. Yeah. And then we got our um attention Dunwall citizens. Eldritch the advice, handsome the man who's influencing us and probably the other side in some way. Yeah. Do not um, to or destroy a river anything else? Any items recovered yeah. from doing so I assume we're going to come upon a, a couple more at least. Um, Captured princess? Oh, yeah. Well, that, I, I guess that's part of the whole, like, you know, overthrow the, you know, empress. I mean, there's there's literally a Penny Arcade comic where uh, the guys making, um, the guys making Dishonored are like, all right, everyone, Dishonored story meeting. We're gonna put it all in. Just say whatever. Uh, rat plague, whales, uh, captured princess, uh, dystopia, uh, the night, uh, the 1890s. Uh, 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 you know, just, just throw it all in. Corvo, hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry I'm to really intrude the on your business. Only one with a normal important. name. <laughs> I suspect you're going to kill Shut the up, it's a constructed world! That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain oh, of the Jeff. City Watch. No, it's with two Fs. It's special. And my only family. 
The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had so, your current profession. Third plot line for this specific Before mission. you became an assassin. We're assassinating the overseer. We're breaking a dude out of prison. Now, are these all optional storyline parts, or are these part of the main story? The assassination is not optional. Okay. But there are ways to get around it. So will there be, you know, side what quests? What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah. The, the things that they're mentioning are side quests. Um, so... I want... I need that. I want this one. Um, I guess bow charms. Sword crossing is cool. Okay. So yeah, um, they've given us a main quest and two side quests. So... We got to assassinate the High Overseer Campbell. The Outsider walks among us, yo. And then our two side quests are stop the Overseer from poisoning that girl's uncle and break Martin out of prison. However, um, those can end up featuring into the main thing. For, ex for instance... If we so desire, we can do a poison challenge uh, switcheroo and give him the poison uh, drink while um, Jeff gets a uh, normal drink. What if he's uh, got a resistance to it? Uh, shut up. <laughs> uh, he doesn't in this instance. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Hey, we're going to go at the start of next episode because, hey, we've been playing for another 30 minutes. So we're going to take a break here. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sarah, will you be back? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cool. All right. See you Bye. guys then. Bye. The rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into.